Kluge first made a name for themselves a few years ago with the release of their flagship stroller, the Kluge Compact. This stroller was and is designed for families on the go. Whether getting in and out of taxis or easily stowing it in an airplane's overhead compartment, the Kluge's one hand close and minimal footprint makes it an ideal choice for travel. So today we're going to review the newest line of strollers, the Kaluga Complete, and see if this full-size stroller has any of the same DNA that made the Compact one of our favorite strollers on the market. Hey, this is John of Fathercraft. The Complete is Kluge's first line of full-size strollers coming in around 445 bucks. It comes standard with a rain cover and a cup holder, no additional charge, and you can get plenty of other accessories that we'll go over in a bit. Now, what makes it a full-size stroller is obviously its size and weight. When unfolded, the Complete measures just over 41 inches from the handlebar to the ground and has a max carrying capacity of 55 pounds. When in the folded position, the footprint measures just over 28 inches top to bottom. I did notice that when the seat is in the front facing position, the folded footprint is much bulkier than when the seat is in the rear facing position. And when comparing it to something like the Uppa Baby Cruise, it is a bit on the chunkier side in the folded position measuring around 23 and a half inches compared to the Cruise measuring around 22 0.8 inches. Now I'm not sure how big of a deal having that extra inch of girth is, but figured it was worth noting. But again, if it's folded with the seat in the front facing position, that bulk becomes much more pronounced. So if you're thinking of traveling with it, that's definitely something worth considering. Despite its size, it has a super smooth ride and is extremely easy to maneuver. There's another aspect to point out here that I hadn't originally thought about until I watched Andrew 2, aka Dadverb's review of the 2020 Kluge Compact Stroller, which I'll link below. So in his review, he mentioned something called tip over, which apparently is something that happens when your child is unseated and you have something like a diaper bag hanging from the handlebars. So if the diaper bag is too heavy, it'll tip the stroller over backwards. Now a bruised ego is probably going to be the worst case scenario in the event this does happen, but it's still fascinating nonetheless. With the Kluge, it's really hard to cause tip over and Andrew gave a great demonstration on how to test this. So with the compact stroller, it took about 20 pounds of force to tip the stroller. So I wanted to give this a try on the complete and perform some rudimentary experiment of my own using a Kaluga backpack and two 10 pound weights. And wouldn't you know it, it remained upright. Now, once I added my bespoke leather bound notebook, the stroller had enough and started to tip, but it withstood about 21 pounds of force, so nearly identical to the compact model. Pretty fun stuff. Structurally, the handlebars are in about the same position as the compact stroller, which probably helps give it that compact center of gravity. But there could be a potential drawback to this, which I'll get into later in this video. Okay, moving on. One of the features that I love the most with the compact stroller was its one hand fold mechanism. So let's talk a minute about how easy it was to open and close the complete. Turns out pretty easy. Now it's not a one hand folding operation like its compact cousin, mainly due to its size, which isn't surprising, but it is really simple to close just by lifting up on the canopy lever and pushing down on the handlebar. Again, super easy. The handlebars are wrapped in vegan leather and provide a soft but firm grip when pushing the stroller. Looking at the canopy, it's rated UPF 50 plus and comes with a shade extension by unzipping the back of the canopy and pulling it forward. There's also a sunroof-esque flap that allows you to look down upon your little one as he, sure as the day is long, gets goldfish crumbs and applesauce drippings in every nook and cranny of your brand new stroller. An aluminum alloy frame makes up the framework for this complete, similar to its compact cousin, which helps give this thing a relatively light weight. The frame by itself is 15 pounds, and with the seat attached, it comes in at around 24 and a half pounds. Now compare this to the ultra chic Uppa Baby Cruise, whose frame seems chunky in comparison, weighing 19 pounds. I will note though, that the overall weight of the Uppa Baby Cruise is only 25 and a half pounds, so the Kaluga must be doing a pretty good job at sucking in its gut. The detachable seat can be placed in either a forward facing or a rear facing position and in either position can be reclined to a 175 degree angle using this one-handed fold lever. The seat comes with a removable and washable insert, which is another nice carryover from the original compact model. The seat also has a detachable roll bar to provide that extra layer of safety in case you roll your stroller in the next illegal underground street stroller race. JK, it's just a handlebar. For newborns, the seat can be converted into a bassinet when in the lie flat option, but you will have to purchase the infant kit in order to do so and that will run you uh, an additional 50 bucks. If you do tack on the infant kit, it will come with your choice of car seat adapter and an infant layer. This infant layer can be configured to mimic the shape of a bassinet without the added bulk or price. Full disclosure here, uh, I haven't tested the infant kit, but based off the reviews I've seen, it seems to be a super handy addition. Speaking of accessories, there is an option to buy the complete travel system, which comes with the infant kit, plus a car seat and a base created by a company called Kleck, I think, Kleck. 
click. This option is going to jack up the price to around 795 bucks, but if you are a soon to be parent and haven't yet purchased a car seat, this is definitely a good option to think about. Quick administrative item here. This video is sponsored by no one? Well, no one. But there are links below in the description to all these accessories, and if you do decide to purchase any of them, clicking those links will help us out tremendously at no cost to you. So if you like this channel and want us to keep making these reviews, please consider clicking those links. Thank you. One of the things I struggled with the most using the original compact stroller was buckling the harness. But thankfully, the harness system has been upgraded in 2020 for both the complete and the compact models. The new harness sort of reminded me at first of puzzle pieces, and I have to admit that it took me some time before I got the hang of it, but it is so much easier to latch than the previous iteration of the harness, once you figure it out. There's just something with me and buckles. I can't explain it. It's like a love-hate thing, and I don't think it'll ever go away. So it's basically a five point harness with a three point buckle. So it's extremely secure. What's even better is how easily it opens, which like I said, is a huge upgrade from the original model. Now just to note here, and this has nothing to do with the design or anything, but my two and a half year old has figured out how to unbuckle the harness. Uh, for some context, this kid is the 21st century reincarnate of Harry Houdini. And he seems to make it his life's mission to figure out how to unlock unlatch and open everything he comes across. So that's fun. All right, let's check out the complete undercarriage. This expansive basket is 22 inches deep, 17 inches wide and six and a half inches tall and has a max carrying capacity of 22 pounds. So big enough to stow your toddler in if he's acting up. It comes with three pockets as well. So you can put some snacks, a milk cup and maybe a toy for said toddler because you're not a monster or you can fit a phone, a wallet, and some keys in it if your toddler is behaving well that day. The opening into the basket is plenty wide to get a diaper bag in and out of without having to wrestle with the stroller, which can be a huge hassle. Rounding out our top down tour, the Complete sits on a pair of nine inch and a pair of six inch no puncture tires comprised of a custom EVA rubber blend. Now, here's where I quite literally ran into my first problem with this stroller. For whatever reason, there were a couple of instances where the front wheels would get stuck on a raised crack in the sidewalk. Uh, and the first time it happened, it was quite jarring. The wheel mount does have some suspension to it, so normally smaller bumps and cracks like you see here shouldn't be a problem. Now, take that for what it's worth, but I have to believe if this were more of a widespread issue um, and not just a localized issue with mine, then I would have heard something, read some reviews. But again, that's just my gut feeling about this. So again, take that for what it's worth. And I'm definitely not saying this will happen to you or that this is a deal breaker. All in all, I continue to be impressed with Klugo's relatively affordable prices compared to other higher end models like the Up Baby Cruise and sleek looking design. It also maintains some of the features I thoroughly enjoyed with the original compact stroller, like it's easy to open and easy to close capabilities, even though it's a bit bulky when in the folded position. That said, it does improve upon some features I struggled with, like the harness system, which is now much easier to operate. You don't even have to take my word for it. Try it out yourself for 100 days and return it at no cost to you if you decide you don't like it. A win-win. All right, folks, that's it. Let me know in the comments below if uh, you need me to expound upon any of the features that I went over in this video, and I'd be happy to try and do my best to answer them. Also, do me a favor and like the video if you liked it. Subscribe as well, and, and be sure to click those affiliate links. Again, that really helps us out and uh, allows us to do more videos in the future. Okay, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.